welcome to another episode of Video Game Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about the Pen and Paper RPG bundle on the Nintendo Switch. So this bundle contains three separate games. Uh, it contains uh, Knights of Pen and Paper Part 1 and Part 2, as well as Galaxy of Pen and Paper. Um, so the, the first two, Knights of Pen and Paper, obviously are, are more of a fantasy-themed RPG, and uh, Galaxy of Pen and Paper is a more of a sci-fi uh, role-playing game. Uh, and so basically the, the quirk or the twist that, that this collection of games adds to your standard uh, sort of JRPG formula is that uh, you're actually playing a group of people... You're like a group of ordinary people sitting down at a table to play a role-playing game. Okay, and so you've got your your actual people sitting at a table, and across the table you've got the, the game master or the dungeon master, and he's kind of narrating the experience for you. Um, so, th so you know, that's, that's kind of a, a, a neat quirk, and they'll, you know, they'll sometimes break out of the game and, and, uh, just be sitting at the table talking about playing the game or whatever so that's just kind of a, a different perspective that you don't see too much so I, I've got to give it a point or two for that um, however uh, with regard to the stories in this game uh, you know the, the quests and the side quests uh, they are it's almost like they're parody like it's a parody of uh, just the repetitive, predictable RPG tropes, and it's like they're trying to make fun of it, but they slip into being like the worst example of it. So sometimes it's clever and funny, but most of the time it just feels really, really evident that they didn't want to put a whole lot of focus on, you know, plot and, you know, story, whatever. Uh, character interaction, etc. Again, sometimes it's really good, and other times it's like it just looks so throwaway, like they just a hundred percent didn't care, didn't have time for it. Um, and it's it could be funny. Sometimes it's funny, and sometimes it's just like, wow, these guys were lazy. Um, so, what is this game good for? Uh, so, I would say mostly. Well, first of all, the game, none of these games are particularly grindy, so that's a good thing uh, for, for a JRPG, in my opinion. Uh, I hate grindy, and they're not too grindy. Uh, but, you know, with most of the story being either jokes or throwaway, and the characters not really being that interesting, they're, they're kind of all blank slates almost. Um, so what you're left with is essentially a game of RPG battles, right? That's what you're looking for. It's just, it's just a bunch of art, like old school JRPG battles, not really grindy, you know, like you're pretty much always progressing, but, uh, you know, that's it. That's pretty much the game. Um, I think. Don't quote me on this. I think this originated on mobile, so I mean that would kind of explain a lot. But so what this game is good for, uh, to be honest, is if you like to uh, relax and unwind at, at night before bed. Uh, you know that may or may not involve. I'm not promoting anything, but that may or may not involve some form of inebriation, uh, and you just kind of want to space out and. Uh, play some RPG battles for a little bit without having to remember where, you know, where do I go next? What was I doing? Blah, blah, blah. You, you just want to, you know, chill out and, and enjoy some, some, uh, kind of mindless menu driven combat. Uh, that's pretty much what this collection of games is good for. So if that sounds like something that has, uh, you know, some utility, like a use in your life, like, yeah, you know what? I've got some time for something like that then uh, go for it. But if you're looking for a role-playing game with some great characters and a cool, unique story or uh, really much else of anything that is cool or unique, uh, keep on looking. 
keep on looking. So, like, I've completed all three of these games, and I'm, you know, I'm not upset about the time that I spent on them, but if there was another entry in the series, I, I don't think I would pick it up, to be honest. I don't. So I'm not, you know, I'm not mad at it. It's not the worst thing that I've ever played, but I've kind of, you know, I've played through them, and I'm finished, and I don't, I don't really see myself uh, ever playing through them again. Uh, so anyway, that, that's it. That's what's up with Pen and Paper RPG Bundle on the Nintendo Switch. Um, please like, subscribe, and click the little bell notification thing. Um, leave comments below if you are so inclined. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.